Hello and welcome to another video. So this is the <coughs> work in progress of the lion. So as you can see I've done, uh, I did it all over with yellow ochre first and then I did that before I did the villa. And then I put that away to dry while I was doing the villa and then when I'd nearly completed the villa, because you know it's not quite finished yet, just tiny, two, two of these tiny bits to do. But after I'd um, after I thought I'd completed the villa, <laughs> I came back to the line and did the background. Now this was done with raw sienna and a little bit of white. And then I put in some burnt umber and I tried to get it to blend in parts like and this bit at the bottom was burnt umber. And then um, I put in some more burnt umber for these sticks and twigs and stuff. Mm. Then left that to dry overnight. And it didn't really need it all night to dry there. <laughs> so that's um, so the uh, lion painting so far. Now I've got the rest of him to do. Um, I'm going to watch some more YouTube videos on how to do the lions. I have watched one. I really need to get in right. I'm going to watch a few more videos of the lion. It said to do it dark to light. That means I'll put raw umber on first and then put the um, lighter fur on afterwards. Um, the picture, the reference photo is in my, is in my um, turquoise art bag thing I take with me to the bed, into the, the dining room. Um, but yeah, I will have to do some, watch some more videos on how to do it. And I hope to be able to get some smaller, smaller paint brushes soon. Um, I'm trying to get some Amazon gift cards from doing surveys first, um, so that I don't have to spend any of my actual money. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so when I um, when I'd finished this, I had a lot of burnt sienna and white left over. So, not burnt sienna, raw sienna and white left over. <clears throat> so what I did was I covered this mini canvas with it to make sure I didn't waste it. I did the raw sienna on first and then went over it with white and it came out like this which is quite a nice colour I think. I like that colour. And I don't know what I'm going to be <laughs> doing on that yet. I haven't even done the other, the other uh, one that I painted with raw sienna either. And I didn't do anything else to any of the other paintings. Not the one that went wrong or the other ones where the sky was, was practice, practice sky ones. <laughs> I didn't do anything to them. Just did the villa, the lion and this mini canvas. And I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with the um, with the um, black canvases and the fluorescent paint or whatever they're called. And in this, but I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet. I'm going to have to think of what to do with them. I might, I might look up some YouTube videos about that as well. Or just Google it. <laughs> but I will find something to do with it. And like the... Like the um, lily that I did on the black on the canvas that I painted black. But these these canvases are black originally. I haven't painted them black. Huh? Gonna have to test it out and see what happens. I could paint a mini canvas like this black, and then test out. Oh no, maybe not a canvas. Maybe just a piece of paper. Paint it black and then test out the luminous paints on it and see what they're like. I don't want to waste a canvas like that or anything. No, so um anyway that's the lion work in progress. 
So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe. Oh, that's my finger over the camera again. Sorry about that. Um, like and subscribe, and you can go back if you like and watch all my other art um, videos. I have sent my deposit off for the season dark class for the summer one now, so I'm going to that uh, I'm, again. And um, so I'll see you in an, an, another video. Bye.